let us discuss about mast cell degranulation by allergen cross linkage of cell bound IgE. On the surface of mast cell, IgE FC receptors are present. First of all, IgEs bind to the IgE FC receptors. The allergen then binds to the bound IgEs in such a way that the bound IgEs are cross-linked by allergen. The mast cell then undergoes degranulation. Now we will discuss about mast cell degranulation by antibody cross-linkage of IgE. During this process, first of all, IgEs bind to the IgE FC receptors present on the surface of mast cell. The anti-isotype antibody then binds to the bound IgEs in such a way that the bound IgEs are cross-linked by anti-isotype antibody. The mast cell then undergoes degranulation. In another method of mast cell degranulation by antibody cross-linkage of IgE, first of all, IgEs bind to the IgE FC receptors present on the surface of mast cell. The anti-ideotype antibody then binds to the bound IgEs in such a way that the bound IgEs are cross-linked by anti-ideotype antibody. The mast cell then undergoes degranulation. Now we will discuss about mast cell degranulation by chemical cross-linkage of IgE. During this process, first of all, IgEs bind to the IgE FC receptors present on the surface of mast cell. A cross-linking chemical then is formed between the bound IgEs. The mast cell then undergoes degranulation. Now we will discuss about mast cell degranulation by cross-linkage of IgE receptors by anti-receptor antibody. During this process, antireceptor antibody binds to the two IgE FC receptors present on the surface of mast cell in such a way that the IgE FC receptors are cross-linked by antireceptor antibody. The mast cell then undergoes degranulation. Now, we will discuss about mast cell degranulation by enhanced calcium ion influx by ionophore that increases the membrane permeability to calcium ion. The mast cell surface has ionophores. The extracellular calcium ion then passes through ionophore into the mast cell cytosol. The passing of calcium ions through the ionophore is called as calcium ion influx. This enhanced calcium ion influx by ionophore increases membrane permeability to calcium ion. The mast cell then undergoes degranulation. Now some important points. Anaphylotoxins like C3A, C4A and C5A can initiate mast cell degranulation. Various drugs can initiate mast cell degranulation. Please like, subscribe and share.